Okay, everybody, welcome to Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs. Right now, we are talking about Dayton Hopkins, the defensive end out of Herman, Missouri, who committed to Mizzou on Tuesday. Before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on X. Like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. Now, before we get into Dayton Hopkins, I need to tell you guys about my buddy who... My buddy Rob just started up a company called Frosty Jams, and it's the coolest thing. Coolers with built-in stere uh, stereos. So you don't have to haul, you know, a Bluetooth speaker and a cooler and risk everything getting, you know, dropping stuff and getting it wet or whatever else. This is an all-in-one package, and it sounds awesome. Built right in, super high-quality, marine-grade. Check it out, frostyjams.com. Okay, guys, Dayton Hopkins, six foot six, 210 pounds, out of Herman, Missouri, Herman High. He's a defensive end, edge rusher, whatever you want to call him. So he is kind of a tweener in terms of his rating. Rivals has him as a 5.73 star, their highest rating. Uh, some, other, some other services have him as four star, but kind of a lower four star. So that, that kind of tier type of guy. Uh, the stats kind of, kind of, Interesting, I'd say. Yeah, I, I would have expected more, but defensive line getting double teamed, so forth. You know, 37 tackles. Was it eight tackles for loss? Nine sacks. That part, you know, gets your attention. And he's visited Missouri three times since last fall. He was at the Kansas State game. He visited for a junior day in January. And then this past weekend, he visited Mizzou, and that kind of sealed the deal for him. He chose Missouri over, honestly, it's a lot of regional schools, Kansas, Kansas State, Iowa State, uh, even Minnesota's not that far away. Those, those are some of the big ones, although Penn State, I think, is the attention grabber there. I trust the, the Penn State and Kansas State offers that tells me that this dude's legit because Kansas State, good at talent development. And let's face it, though Penn State's offense looks like it's from the 1890s, their defense is very, very good. So if they want a guy, that means something to me. Now with the film, the first thing that stands out is just how quick Hopkins is reacting to the snap. It is set hut and he is in the backfield before the offensive lineman knows what happened. So that is a huge advantage, just having that quickness. that to Just to beat a guy so that the offensive lineman doesn't have a chance. If he doesn't get such a quick jump and just beat a guy like that, he does have the power, the strength, to just drive the offensive lineman backwards, kind of collapse the pocket. So that is encouraging to see. And let's face it, at six foot six, he's going to have a reach advantage. It won't be as pronounced once he's playing in the SEC instead of you know high high school ball in you know Central West. Uh, Eastern Missouri. So, you know, that'll change, but six foot six is six foot six. You know, with his athletic ability, he can chase a ball carrier down. He can use speed and strength. And some of this comes from his ability to play tight end. You know, he, Missouri originally was interested in Hopkins as a tight end. When Brian Early became the new defensive line coach for Missouri when he joined the staff, that kind of, the focus kind of switched to him as a D end and a defensive player rather than tight end. So, you know, that's kind of what caused that. I think Coach Early saw something. And hey, low man wins. That is the one thing that I, I think is something for Hopkins to work on. And it's it is hard. He's six foot six. He he does stand up out of his stance a little bit more than I'd like to see. But at the same time, he is it's 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 an easily fixed thing. That's something you just coach a guy up and you can fix that easily. Missouri is getting a guy that it's interest, it's rare, is what it is, to be a defensive lineman and also run track. Is it all world speed? No. He's 
been clocked this current track season at an 11.86 in the 100 meter dash. Now, that's not going to win any state championships or anything. But at the same time, you're talking about a defensive lineman running sub 12. That's fantastic. That is good speed. And let's face it, for a defensive lineman, there, there's some endurance to run in a 100 meter dash like that, right? You've seen plenty of D linemen who after 50 yards are gassed and need a blow. So that's something that he has in his pocket. And Missouri, you know, hopefully you don't need that. But a guy like this just establishes more depth. And that's what championship teams have. It also just continues all this momentum that Missouri has. There's just guys joining the program left and right. You know, he joined right at the end of April, capping off a crazy month. That started with Matt Zollers, and you know, here we are in Missouri. All of a sudden, so uh, a month ago, having zero recruits committed, now has you know a top twenty type class, and they don't even have ten guys yet. So yeah, lots of momentum there. That's all I've got, guys. Thank you for checking out Under the Arch Sports, and keep it tuned here. Subscribe, like, follow, and don't miss out as we keep you up to date to everything happening in the world of St. Louis sports.